No. No. Ow. Please stay out of my room. No. No, please. No. Hi, Liz. You're not allowed in my room. Liz. Shh. Open the door, Liz. No. Liz, you wake your mother. Stay out of my room. Liz, be quiet. Shh. Let me in. Stay away. No, please. No, 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 no. Get out of the way. You don't want to wake your mom. Please. You don't want your mom angry at you. No. Don't come any closer. It's okay, Liz. You want this, don't you, Liz? Wake up in the morning. Gotta shake the feeling. I gotta face the day of the school. What's to be afraid of? I can ask a question or maybe even bend the rules. I'm searching for a place where I'll fit in. There's a way if I look, then I can win. Yeah, I can see I'm not alone. I can face the unknown. Mm -hmm. Everybody can succeed in yourself. You Whatever he says, he's right. Get right. lost. Look, you girls don't even stand a chance of winning. I wonder if she'll go out with me. Why not? They are one of her favorite bands. But we've never gone out before. It's all this nervousness. You and her have been buddies for ages. Yeah. Of course, you have had a massive debilitating crush on her for years. Exactly. Let's face it, it is sort of a date. Go for it. I mean, what have you got to lose except your pride? My dignity. Everything. But go for it. There she is. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. Liz. Hi. You like the Pogues, right? I love them. I wish I was going to their concert tonight. You can if you like. CRAZ was giving away free tickets. Guess who was the fourth caller? So, uh, would you like to go with me? I'm sorry. I've got way too much homework. It's no problem. I can find someone else. Homework? It's Friday night. Snake buddy, what are you doing tonight? I thought you'd never ask. Why couldn't she go? Too much homework. Good morning, class. Everyone take your seats, please. It's probably better this way. Excuse me, Archie. Everyone. Oh, sorry. It's your globe. OK, everyone take your textbooks out, please. Those of you who did the required reading for today's class, you'll know that we're going to be discussing climate. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. So I'll come by around 6.30? Sounds good. I'll see you then. All right. Bye-bye. Hi. How are you? Fine. Good. How's it going, Romeo? Yeah, you and Tessa seem to be hitting it off pretty good. Yeah. I just don't know if I'm doing things right. Last week, we went to the planetarium. We didn't get back until real late. We sat and talked on her porch for a while. I was getting these signals. Like, maybe she wanted me to kiss her? But I didn't. I sense she was, I don't know, something. Disappointed, maybe? She was probably struggling to stop from tearing his clothes off. <laughs> That's it. She's an animal. It was dark, and it was perfect. And then he didn't do anything. Maybe you should have kissed him. No way. He'll think I'm easy. Look, you're going out again tonight. Try being more obvious this time. How? I don't know. How many dates have I been on? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I want to kiss her, and I think she wants me to, but maybe I'm wrong. Look, how do you tell these things? You're asking us? 
Hey, I've been on dates. Yeah, and did you ever kiss Melanie? Almost. I still can't believe you said no. You love the pokes. I have homework. It's Friday night. It isn't Tim, is it? Because he's a really nice guy. You don't know that for sure. Yes, I do. I've known him since sixth grade. He's really sweet. Yeah, well, I'm not into dates. How do you know? You never go on them. Try being normal for a change. Anyways, it's not a date date. It's a concert. You want to see the Pogues, you've said so a million times. Yeah. But he's probably giving the ticket to somebody else. Maybe not. Why don't you ask him? He's sitting right over there. Come on. Over here? Yeah. Come show it. Yes. Go on. Hey, how about this? Let's do a rap version of the Barber of Seville. I don't know, Ralph. I'm not sure if the world's quite ready for a classical rap fusion band. Why not? Tim. I guess you've already given away that ticket to the Pogues, right? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, he's still got it. Because I think I'd like to go after all. Great! But just as friends, right? Of course. I'll pick you up around seven. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. On the way home, in the romantic glow of the streetlights, she looks at him. Oh, my, Tim, you're so handsome. Yeah, that sounds pretty realistic. Uh, she takes his hand and smothers it in kisses of passion. Don't stop there. Go on. Uh, she kisses her way up his arm. Oh, 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 Tim, she moans. Uh, she looks up at him and... Well, I think I need glasses. Yeah. It sounds pretty realistic. Just joking, Tim. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Joey. Thanks for the fries, man. <laughs> hey, Dwayne. Let's do something this weekend, okay? I'm busy. Dwayne, what's wrong with you these days? Wouldn't it be funny if that tray fell? <laughs> oh, yes, it could get terribly messy. Leave him alone. How come you're suddenly so nice to that little cockroach? What, is he blackmailing you or something? Dwayne, it's with him. So, uh, that was a good movie, eh? I don't know. It was pretty scary. Those were amazing special effects. <laughs> what was incredible when that snake came out of her mouth? Ew, that was so gross. I didn't close my eyes in time. I'm going to have nightmares for weeks. Well, here we are. Home again, home again. Jiggity jig. <laughs> right. So, uh, that was a fun evening, eh? Yeah. I'd better go. Right. Remember they did? Oh, yeah. Too bad they didn't do another one. <laughs> Look at the drummer. I know. He looks hilarious. Remember those idiots two rows ahead? You don't think they were stoned, do you? Oh, no. <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> I bet they don't remember anything of the show. Yeah, really. Well, I'm sorry, but I can't invite you in. My mom goes to bed early. No problem. 
Thank you so much for inviting me. You're welcome. I'm glad he had a good time. I had a fabulous time. You know, you're really good company. We should do this again sometime. <laughs> sure. Night. Night. No. Liz. No! You don't want to wake Get your mom. Liz, calm down. Get out of my room. Liz! I'm sorry. How'd it go? Take a guess, Dorothy. He didn't kiss you? I gave him every opportunity. Maybe he's just a slow starter. Dorothy, I've seen faster turtles. He obviously doesn't like me. So we break up. I don't care. But I thought you really liked him. I just wish he'd kiss me. Maybe you should give him another chance. We've already gone out three times, and he hasn't even held my hand yet. Hi. Sorry, I'm in a rush. No, Tessa, wait. Tessa. Are you sure you didn't do anything else? Like, accidentally touch her somewhere she wouldn't like to be touched? No. Well, this is weird. Tell me about it. Hey, here she comes. Liz, look, I'm sorry. I don't want to talk about it. I didn't mean to upset you. I don't want to talk about it. Leave me alone. Whoa. I don't know why she's being like this. It was just a good night kiss. The Degrassi Film Society will be screening The Great Mexican Chili Adventure. Admission will be $4 and tickets go on sale at the door. Don't miss this all-time classic. Hi, how was the concert? Fine. Wow, you have amazing descriptive powers. I don't want to talk about it. They were no good? Is everyone deaf around here all of a sudden? I don't want to talk about it, all right? I thought we were grooving. Yeah, was Liz talk to you at all about Friday night? No. What happened anyway? She was acting pretty weird. I don't know what happened. We were having fun and I went to kiss her goodnight and she freaked. What do you mean, kiss her goodnight? A peck, that's all. I swear. Come on, Spike, you know me. I wouldn't hurt a fly. I don't know why she's being like this. She's obviously really upset, and I feel awful. She won't talk to me. You're her friend. Will you just tell her I'm sorry? Please? Hi, people. OK, folks. Let's get started. 
Archie. We'll tune up to B flat. Tomorrow morning's practice will begin at the usual time of 7.30. Also, percussionists are still needed, and anyone wishing to audition should show up before practice. Thank you. Tim says he's really sorry. What happened? It doesn't matter. He's really upset you won't let him apologize. Oh, Grace, you're on his side. No, I'm on your side. Yeah, well, you could have fooled me. What is it with you and guys anyway? If it was just a little peck. All right, kissy kissy, and no problem, any guy, right? No, but I think it's okay to kiss someone you like goodnight. Yeah, well, it's easy to see why you got pregnant. Shh. What sort of cheap shot was that? What's going on inside your mind? Why don't you tell me what's wrong? We've been friends a long time. I tell you everything. Maybe I can help. I can't. Okay. That's how you want it. Say. Oh, it wasn't that bad. Oh, no, but it could have used a much better script. Alex! Yeah? We need to talk. Attention. Could Derek Wheeler please come to the office? Derek Wheeler. So, what do you want to talk about? Us. Look, it's obvious you don't like me. What are you talking about? I like you. Oh, right. What did I do? Nothing. That's the whole point. I thought we had fun Friday. We did. Didn't we? Then why didn't you kiss me? I didn't know if you wanted me to. What did you want, a fax? But that's all beside the point. Obviously, we don't communicate. So I think we should call it quits now before it gets too messy. So, uh, see you in class. Rats desert the sinking ship. What's the problem? I don't know. It won't start. I can't afford to take it to the garage anymore. You know about cars? My dad fixes up old cars. Just be careful you don't mess it up more, all right? So how's it going? Great. I love being HIV positive. Sometimes I dream I don't have it. I'm normal again. Everything's great. When I wake up, I've still got it. I want to kill myself. Don't say that. Why not? It's going to happen anyway. You're the only person who knows. I told you by mistake. I haven't even told my parents yet. You gotta tell them. <sighs> no way. 
My dad would kill me. You wouldn't have to do it yourself. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. I say these stupid things sometimes. No. That's okay. I like it. It's kind of funny. Okay, for right now. I do it myself. All right, that's great. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Listen, uh, you want a lift? Sure, hop in. Try telling that to the little boy she beat up today. <laughs> Boom. I swear, she's gonna be in a motorcycle game when she grows up. You know, you're right. Best friends should tell each other everything. I want to tell you why we moved here. When I was nine, my mom had this boyfriend. They were going to get married. Mom worked evenings. And when we were alone, he started to look at me funny. At first, he made me sit on his lap. And then he made me touch, touch it. Nice. And other stuff. Oh, my God. She said if I told anybody, they wouldn't believe me. And Mom would be angry. He said I made him do it. It was my fault. You were just a little kid. Mom found out finally. She wasn't mad. That's why we moved here. Whenever a guy gets too close. Most times I can forget. But sometimes I have these dreams. I can see them. I can see him coming into my room. I can feel him. He's on top of me. He means so much. I can't move. Someone who can help. I feel so Gentlemen, now official, Tessa and I are going together. All right, Alex. Chuck one up there for the good guys. Yes. Yeah. The official Degrassi High T-shirts are in. Show your true colors, purple and blue, by wearing a Degrassi High T-shirt. On sale now for the student council office. 
Look, I'm really sorry about the other night. I'm sorry I got you upset. No, I'm sorry. I kind of overreacted. What did they do? Nothing. You didn't do anything. I'm just kind of shy of relationships right now. Friends again? Friends. <laughs> 